What's going on guys? Welcome back to my channel. It's Brett Maverick here. I hope you all are having an awesome day so far. So this is like my fourth time trying to film this video just because I can't tell if I'm getting the lighting right or not. Also, I got a new background because I'm moving into my new apartment. So let me know what you think about that. Love it, hate it. Talk to me in the comments below. But today we're talking about mewing mistakes. If you don't know what mewing is, maybe you're new to the channel. Mewing is a system thought up by British orthodontist Mike Mew. It's a system of a few different things, a few different factors that can help you actually develop a stronger facial structure, jawline, and all that good stuff. And I always get a bunch of questions asking me, am I doing it right? Why am I not seeing results? This, that, and the other, and all this stuff. People are confused. So I thought I'd make a video on the top mistakes and misconceptions people are doing with mewing. And that rhyme. But anyways, let's kick this off with one of the mistakes I see the most. And that is engaging the front of the tongue. One of the most important factors of mewing is having proper tongue posture. And the most important part of that is the back of the tongue, the posterior third, you know, right back here. So a lot of people wonder why they get kind of this lump underneath their chin when they're mewing. Well, it's because you're pushing up on the front of your tongue or the middle of the tongue, but you should be focusing primarily on the back. So I actually have a little prop for you. Let me introduce you to my friend Chomper here, and he's gonna show us how to do that. I hope you can see this, hope it's in focus. Do not press up on the front. You need to press in the back. You should have pressure fully with your tongue, but most of it is centralized in the back here. If you're not doing this, then basically you're just wasting your time and your energy and it's not gonna work. You need that pressure going up into the center of your skull. My next mistake also has to do with the tongue and that is your tongue pressing up against your teeth. This is wrong for a bunch of reasons, even dental reasons. You could ask any orthodontist, it's not good to have your tongue pressed up against your teeth because it'll actually push your teeth forward over time and that's just not a good look, right? But also, if your tongue is stretched out over the top of your mouth, going all the way to the front of your mouth, then there's no way that you can mew correctly. You actually have to have your tongue pulled back just a little bit. I'll show you what that looks like on our little dummy here. So this is what a lot of people are doing. Tongue all the way up against the teeth. You actually want to pull it back just a bit. So this tongue stops five or six millimeters before your teeth right like that and how do you do that you just slide your tongue back so this normally you would maybe look like this pull your tongue back and it looks like this this way you get more mass of your tongue towards the back of your the roof of your mouth so then there's more pressure going upwards and then you get more development of your face upward and forward to get that nice aesthetic forward projection. The next thing I get questions about all the time and it's proper swallowing. This is a, something that's preached quite often in the mewing community. And basically the mistake I see people making is not knowing if they're doing it correctly. And I'm here to tell you that it's really not that deep. The main point of proper swallowing is just to not be sucking so much while you when you eat and swallow. If you have particles of food all over your mouth, you wanna use your tongue. The more tongue that you can get going, the better. So just take your tongue, scoop up the food, and just bring the food above your tongue. Then you just take your tongue and pull it all back to the back of your mouth and then swallow it. That's really all there is to it. I think you guys are thinking way too hard about it. But really, just get the food above your tongue, take your tongue, pull it to the back of your mouth, and swallow it. That's all there is to it. Another one I see quite often is bad neck and head posture. You might have the correct tongue posture, you have your tongue up against the roof of your mouth, nice pressure going on, a nice uh, initiation, but you, you're walking around like this with this forward lean going on and kids are calling it nerd neck these days. So you don't want that. And what's bad about this is it's literally canceling out what you're doing with your tongue. When you're pressing your tongue up, up you're giving yourself this nice submental triangle. How you develop this forward head is you get tight muscles in the back of your neck. The splenius here and the trapezius muscles. If those get tight, then you need to raise your chin to make up for it. And when you raise your chin, you need to bring your head forward. And then you have no submental triangle. You know, that's that nice right angle. That's what signifies a nice jawline and a nice facial development. And it's actually why I started mewing, because I really wanted that. So if you have bad neck posture, you could put your tongue anywhere you want. You could have the perfect tongue posture, but it's gonna cancel it right out because you still have 
this slope. So I recommend doing the McKinsey chin tuck. I've talked about this a bunch of times. How you do it is you just stand up against the wall and then raise your head as far as you can up the wall and hold it there for about 20 seconds at a time. Do this a few times a week, you'll definitely start seeing some progress. Loosen up those neck muscles, baby. All right, and that brings us to our final mistake. And this is probably the most important one. And it's more of a misconception than a mistake. And that is unrealistic expectations. I feel partially guilty for this. Maybe I put some false hope in a lot of people's heads and I apologize for that if I did, but people need to know that if you're one of the people who has like a non-existent chin or jawline, no amount of mewing is gonna give you this Clark Kent Superman facial structure. I'm sorry to tell you, but it's just not gonna happen. What mewing does is very, very, very gradual. The changes are gonna be minimal and they're gonna take a long, long time. It's just a habit that is gonna maximize your genetic potential. It's these daily functions and forms that are slightly changing your face over a quite long period of time. Now, that's not to say you can't get remarkable results, but your expectations should be within reach and within reason. Mewing is not a six pack shortcut or a get ripped fast scheme for your face. Like I said, it's just something that will maximize your genetic potential and the younger and the earlier you start and the more you ingrain it into your daily posture and habits, the better off you'll be and the more progress you'll see. Another rhyme, that was awesome. So that's it guys, those are the biggest mistakes. I hope you guys learned something from this video. One last little plug, I would really appreciate it if you go follow my Instagram, I'm so close to 100,000 followers, so it would mean a lot to me. It's Brett MVRK. we have a lot of fun over there. If you haven't already, subscribe, turn post notifications on, and until next time, peace out.